Hello, and welcome to more Dyson Sphere program. <clears throat> Apologies if the quality of this stream is not great, uh, but I unfortunately have to upload something that I forgot to set up loading this morning. So uh, it's going to take a while for that to do. So apologies if this comes through rubbish, but it's at least there. Huh. It seems to say it's going up OK. But anyway, let's get on with this. So, uh, so uh, what do we want to do? We want to load the game. And I want to load that one up. So yeah, so no, there wasn't a stream last week because I was at EGX. Some weirdness with my chair as well. Why is that so? Uh, I'll sort that out afterwards. Uh, yes, so yes, no stream last week. So this is picking up after two weeks. From my memory, we've just headed over to yes to our nearest well it's not our nearest neighbor because we are orbiting a gas giant but uh and one of our nearest neighbors and we are about to start orbiting orbiting start mining some titanium i believe that to be correct yes titanium right so what have i got because i seem to remember yeah. Okay. I seem to remember that we um actually that's a point. What fuel of oh okay. Pop that in there. Did I set up let's let's have a let's just have a look around right because I remember adding on Oh can I not oh there we go. Uh I remember adding on the old um what do you call them? Wind turbines, but not having quite enough. Probably need as many again as I've already put down. Okay. And did I? Okay. I also set up clearly some coal power. Cool. So we'll at least have enough power to do some mining. And we are stood by, I think there's only one titanium patch. Yeah, just the one titanium patch, uh, but there were several silicon patches because we we we'll ideally mine silicon as well because it's not very efficient to produce it in the way that we are back on our home planet. But that's kind of a secondary thing, really. So we need to set up this mining. Okay, right. So uh, I've got miners, right? Yes. I say a bit uh, having to sort of pick up uh, and remember <laughs> where I got to because I say it has been a couple of weeks. I've not played any of this uh, since the last stream. Uh, let's put one in, say, there. Yeah, not played any of this since the last stream. I've been trying to focus on Factorio because the Mega Bay series is. Um, getting quite close to ending so I'm trying to you know trying to be using my personal playing time to uh, to get on with that right so we got some miners there now how long does isn't it F the, yeah okay titanium requires two and two seconds so level one belt delivers six a second. So, a single belt can support six miners, uh, six belters rather. So, if we had a two belt system, we could support 12 miners. Okay. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So, we got eight miners, so we could do four and four, which isn't very good for the splitters. So, it'd be better doing three, three, and three. And then the other two. Um, you're not mining very many. What about these? So they're mining quite a few. 
Hmm. But these two aren't. So maybe what I could do instead is like combine those two together just with the belts. And that gives me one, two, three. Mm, that's not very good, is it? Let's just do. Let's just stick some together, basically. So, because we got. Oh, I haven't got very many splitters, have I? Let's craft up a couple of them if we can. I can't because I left everything behind. Okay. So I've only got two splitters anyway. Okay. <laughs> right. Um. Fine. Uh. Right. So if we put one, say here. So basically, we're going to be sticking these into a chest. You see, I want to get quite a few miners on the go with this and, and smelting. Um, because... No, that was dumb. Because... We better sticking that one in there. Now, what we could do is maybe... Yeah, I want to get quite a few on the go, because basically we're going to be hand transporting this initially. So we want, you know, a good good stream of production going on to support that, basically. Uh, so if we have the other one, say, um, maybe I could put it here. And we could do something like this. Oops. No. Oh, where is that? Oh, yeah, no. Oh, yeah, you can do diagonal belts now. I forgot that I discovered that. Right. And then these two, like, say. Oops. That. And. That. Okay. So. We get that going, all built up. We need to pop in because I used up all. Yeah, I used up all of the turbines. So uh, we need to pop in some of these to power everybody up as well, um, and then connect it to our power network, which should be fairly easy to do now. I mean, there would be there would conveniently be a set of so um, solar sails, set of uh, solar wind turbines down there, but obviously they don't exist. So we might as well sort of connect this in such a way that, you know, we'll be replacing it, if you see what I mean. So, oh, hmm, if I can connect that like that, can't I? Let's just do it direct then. So that connects us up to all the power grid. Boop. Uh, no, it doesn't. I've missed one. How have I missed that one? Oh, well. I'll be put. You know, I'll stick in some extra solar panels. Uh, solar panels, some extra wind stuff there, as is my want. Right. So what we want to do then is have two. You know, bring these over to two, and this is probably good enough place to put it like that, and like that, and like that, and then we want some. Our poles are oh, somewhere. Okay, so if we put you there. Is that then okay? Yeah. Okay. So we then want um, if we plop down uh, just the one smelter, then I know where the belt needs to be. So uh, actually, let's give ourselves a bit of a bit of a gap. Like that. Oh, structure matrix. So that's the yellow cube for which we need the titanium. And that's obviously what we're going to do. We're going to kind of set this going and then go and set that production up so that we know what it looks like. Um, I guess it's going to produce a belt's worth, isn't it? So really we want sort of two separate separate things really. So if I copy that over, and that will show me where to put the belt in. 
on this side. Over here somewhere. And we've got some of these now. And what we can do... Um, hmm. Let's see if I can't hop over this. Get rid of that. Take it back down the ground. So, kind of the simplest place is to put it here. Oops. Do, 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 storage. So maybe if I put it sort of here, I can stack up five now, is it? One, two, three, four. Okay. Uh, and then we'll stick this along here. And that along, whoops, and then that along there. Let's put a double. I don't, I can't actually remember. How, oh. No connection. Uh, I can't actually remember how many you need to get them in because it's affected by the bonuses as well. And I can't remember how many of those I've done. You know, the stack bonuses. Right, so let's pop that in there. Okay, so that's a great big storage thing. So now we want to, uh, uh, probably easiest just to set one of these up, give it its uh, sorters, like that, oh that needs to be titanium as well, hmm. uh, and then do the old copy paste, which I'm a big fan of. Um, I can't remember when they use for a... Uh, I think it's four, isn't it? And it's tab to... So that's groups of three. Oh. Uh, no. Oh. Okay. I don't think I can fit in... Why... Oh, there we go. So it was six, wasn't it, I think? Yeah. Pretty sure it's six. Like that. And then we want some power. And we should be good to go. Did I get confused? I thought the titanium recipe was... Oh, it's two bits, one out. So actually it's only... Th okay, I got confused there. I thought it was two in, two out, but it's two in, one out. So this is only half a belt. That's fine. Yeah, so basically this will fill up with titanium. And as I say, initially we need to come back... Excuse me. We need to come back every so often and sort of grab some titanium, which we can do basically by completely emptying our inventory. Um, and taking as much as we can. Uh, you can do a thing where basically, because if you're holding it, uh, which is what, like that, then or it, it might it might have stopped you doing it, but you could have basically hold you know infinite titaniums. Um, you had to be careful because if you like click, they came up with the. Um, um, Recycling thing, basically. Um, right, so let's also mine up a silic uh, yeah, silicon patch. Let's go with this one then. The other thing I could do is set up some local production for basic materials. Um, I think I'd rather go back and start Yellow Cube, setting up Yellow Cube, so that it's ready... Because you know, they won't take long to fill most of that up in reality. Uh, right, so let's have a go. So we'll just chuck a few of these in. I seem to remember, isn't this? Because I haven't got any splitters anymore, have I? Um, isn't this the same as... Yeah, this is the same. Okay. Right, so 
Um, we want to go along that way, probably. Where would the... I don't want to get in the way of the... Oh, I wouldn't be anywhere near it, would I? Okay. Or, well, we, we can go the other direction, just to be sure. I don't want to be anywhere near the um, wind, you know, wind turbines. Uh, just in case, basically. Uh, right, so let's connect this up to here and that up to there. You up to here and you up to there. And then... Probably... Oops. Do the same thing. I should really put some more miners on it eventually. I'm not quite as fussed about this being produced at you know, big volume sort of thing, but I'll leave space for, you know, if and when I do add some more miners on, we'll leave a bit of a gap again so that we can fit in the old um, chesticle. It's the same ratio, so we want six of them. We can get rid of them. We can copy them. Uh, we can add the belt on. See, I wonder if this sort of thing might not be you make you know a useful thing to blueprint. Um, but it's actually pretty quick with the shift click, so. Uh, right. Plus, this is going to all change when we get the you know planetary and interplanetary logistics. So, right. So this would go say here. So we want uh, belts again. Uh -oh. We want you over there. We got a bit close with that. Never mind. Do -do -do. Oops. Back down to ground again. That's fine. Is that too close? Are you going to moan about being too close? No. Cool. So I don't think I need this many with this level of belt, but you know, might as well chuck them on. Future proof it a bit. And then we want. Don't these drag as well? No, they don't. They really don't. Okay. And then, I don't know, just chuck a couple in here, I guess. Like that. And then we need to work out where we can get power from. I guess probably actually over this side would be quicker, but we might be able to do it. Just going straight up again. How close is that? That's fairly far away. Um, no, see that? It's just a nip up. Ah, X ray cracking, super. Why is that only connecting at a short range? No, it's just a perspective thing. Oh, we've got enough of these. I might not be able to reach this patch. I always stick some small ones in. No, <laughs> would need another one. Okay, so we can just chuck a small one in. So, well, this will all get you know reworked when we come back with the solar panels. Uh, solar panels, the um, turbines, turbines. Okay, so you need to smelt silicon. You need thirty bobs. Thirty bobs. Why did that not work? 30 bobs. And shift click that. And drag it over again. Oh, you're being weird, are you? Okay. Right. Why are you doing that? There you go. And then this is the opposite way around. No. There you go. Oh, I didn't put the recipe on. What a, what a rube. 
like that. There we go. Is everyone making silly cone? Yeah. Okay. So we'll uh, stack up there as well. Cool. Right. So. Um, let's grab what, what titanium we can. Make sure we've got a bit of the old fuel on board. I can't remember whether... I don't think I did, did I? You see, they've already done half a chest. I don't think I put... And we're already <laughs> almost out of power. So hopefully I did. Hopefully I put... I can charge up here. You know, to help improve things. But did I put any of this in chests. I didn't. That was foolish. So we should have a little chest here so that we can grab some carbon as well. Let's fly over there. I hope I'm going the right way. We'll probably come straight back with some more turbines. Because I, I quite like to get the planets all set up, ready to go. Uh, right, yes, so we want a small... Oh, no, I haven't got any small chests. That was foolish. It doesn't matter. Uh, thing there. Thing there. Let's cap this then. Let's say eight, which is like, you know, two mechas full. And then we only want a little inserter... Let's put it at the other end. Let's put it there so it's a bit more visible. We'll grab some of that. Top ourselves up a bit. In fact, I might break that. I guess we could drop off a, a thing. Um, which is the North Pole? No. North. That's the North Pole. Okay, so... The other thing we can do, while well, this sort of grabs us some uh, graphite, graphene, carbon nanotubes, whatever it is, is head up here, and we can have a sort of chest uh, with stuff ready to go. So it's like, a, here's some materials if we ever run out. Uh, I say, we do want to set up a little bit of local production, but... So, oh, put 11 in, did I? Okay. 10 sets of belts, two stacks of inserters, some of them. So I'll put all of them in. Two stacks of them, two stacks of them. And we might as well leave them behind as well. And a stack of that. Cool. As I say, that's kind of like the, the key things for us to jumpstart any production. Um, and also, I mean, we don't need, you know, they don't need to stay there long. Oh, that's the silicon. Where's the power? Power's around there. Where am I? Um, opposite direction, basically. You can bash into these. There you go. <laughs> right. Now, that's the titanium. Where's the... I've got lost, haven't I? Where's the power? Oh, it's over there. Okay. So he's quite slow. He... We'll get some buffs on the go, or more buffs on the go. Here we go. Here's the badger. Right. Let's land and charge there. How much? I've got 67 on me, so I can pop them in. So it need... I mean, we don't. We can get back with what we've got there. But we definitely want to be full charge. You can actually wait, because, of course, you know, there's orbital mechanics going on. So you can actually wait... Um, 
until the planet is closer, you know, that you're trying to get to. Pop that back. Make sure we're definitely fully topped up. See what the old interplanetary situation is like. Yeah, so you know, we could wait until it's closest approach and stuff like that. Well, I think it's closest. But you do have, you can, <laughs> you can wait quite a long time for that. Yeah, it's just, let's just go. Right. And that there. Cool. Where are we going? We're going. Oh, I tabbed that, didn't I? Um. Oh, I can't remember how to do that. It's do for the map, don't we? That way? There we go. So I usually blast up to about halfway battery. So use up about half the battery. Um, and it will slowly tick up because we're still using fairly low level fuels. But that means we can slow down. You know, we've got power to slow down. Because you can easily just sort of run out of juice and fly past the planet or, or whatever you're trying to get to. I so say we will eventually get a gigantic battery. And um, and speed boosts and all sorts of stuff that will make this. In fact, we'll get warpers as well. And you can basically literally sort of hop between planets with warpers. I love this music that it drops into. It's uh, It's real sort of... Um, I was going to say cheesy, but a bit sort of you know stereotypical space music is in a sense, but it's it's quite good for some reason. See, we've sort of recovered about a quarter of the total power. Oh, I clicked on the gas joint, didn't I? Oh, well. in fact, we might as well take that off while we're. Because they're pretty easy to spot. The bright, bright blue purple marble and the and the blue green planet. It's nice and easy to find. So let's slow down a little bit. I do find the aiming of the in space a little tricky. There you go. It always tries to insert you into an orbit, but it doesn't do a very good job of it sometimes. Right, so what we can do then is, well, let's find our power stuff here. Is it this? No. Where's the power? Because the other thing, having unlocked the oil thing, that's something else we could do. Because we'll rapidly run out of, um, or you know, get blocked up, basically. With hydrogen. Ah, oh, here's the power. Here we go. So it's sort of that way. So we'll just nip back over there. Make sure the mecha's all topped up. And as I say, I think I'll drop off this titanium roughly where I think I'm going to make the. Uh, make it sort of thing. Right, so we can grab all of that. Stick that in there. So we're not actually used up very much, so it's not we don't really need all of that then. And there should be some here we go. Do a little bit of a charge. Cool. And have a quick think where we want to put the yellow science production. So this is our lab here. So we want to use one or the other. I say the goal is just to get oh hydrogen fuel rods, lovely jubbly. They're much better for uh, f you know fueling the mecha, but they require titanium. You have to use titanium to contain the hydrogen, basically. So probably going to be easiest to do that one. Right, let's go over there then. Because we have to turn the titanium into because you can actually. You've got the option, of course, of t 
turning the titanium into the titanium crystals on the other planet and moving those over. But because we want titanium for other stuff as well, we might as well actually, you know, bring the titanium back raw, basically. Okay, so if this was the yellow one, or the stack of yellow ones, we need to feed it diamonds, which are just made from, you know, the carbon graphite thingies, and these, which are made from titanium crystals and organic crystals. Now, organic crystals, we have to get from... Well, you can get them from organic material, but we have to get them from organic crystals, basically. Now, didn't I set some of that up? somewhere preemptively i sort of set up some labs here we go yeah here we go so this is where the titanium crystals are oh sorry the organic crystals it's also quite near a coal patch where i've already started carbon production okay So if we mine this up a bit more, maybe have to reroute this, or you know, pull this up, reroute it, and that sort of thing. But if we mine a bit more of this, make some more carbon nanotubes, then we've got both things. Is this even running? Yeah, it is. Close by, so we can make the. Um, in fact, I've said that. But then we've got... Is that the nearest carbon? It's not the nearest, but it's probably the easiest to use. Okay. So basically we can convert those two... Don't put wrong key again. Into... There we go. So we can convert the carbon into the um, crystals, and that into titanium. You know, convert the titanium into titanium crystals. So we can bring that those. Or should I convert them to diamond first? But basically, we can bring those and those over next to each other, and make you know. Uh, these and these right here, basically. Because we can have the titanium drop-off point be here, basically. Okay, yeah, I like that. Now, how many of these do we need to have and stack up and stuff? So, what's the science speed on this? So that's eight seconds. So in theory, it would be eight labs for one... I'm not even feeding this. How many have I got here? One, two, three, four. So we've got six, but I'm not feeding it enough carbon anyway. Okay. Because that's the same carbon that that's coming from. So we need more carbon anyway. Oh, we've got a coal vein right here as well. Okay. Because we've already got carbon coming over. Is that carbon there? Oh, it is, isn't it? So actually we could mine that out and just add it on. And then bring the organic crystals over as well, as part of this chain. And we're kind of sorted. Okay, let's do that then. Uh, well, let's not do... We will... Um, you know, set up the things as if we were going to do that, if that makes sense. So, um, I won't actually do it. I'll go back to the other. I keep hitting M key for that, for some reason. Right, so we need a bunch of labs, which I can't make because I haven't got any materials or anything. Okay. But if I... No, it just won't let me place that. Will it? Okay. I can't stack to eight, though. So I am going to have to... You know, do some. Wait, do do I need smelters or? So, do you make 
So they make titanium crystals. But I think smelters make... Yeah. Diamonds. Okay. So we're going to have to put some smelting and stuff here. But it's going to be relatively easy, I think. I mean, we're going to have to we're going to need a bigger bigger column sort of thing, but um which way is north? That way, okay. What am I doing? So we basically want something where, you know, if we have another lab, say, here, then we can feed. Um, we can because they because the carbon's here, you see, so we can bring like almost the excess this way, and perhaps have them there and there. I'm just chucking these down. Probably need to be a bit further down. And then have this come out again with the two materials on it and feed them so they can even, yeah, they can be next to each other there. Okay, so in that case, I can probably put this here and we can have a belt that basically, so I have two belts, you know, here. So that's going to be in the way then, isn't it? So actually. If I put it sort of over here, then it's approximately in the right place, but also out of the way. Okay. Because they're a pain to move, basically, when you, you know, stack up too much material. But they can basically be a, a belt this way, with more labs. You know, two stacks of four, basically. Okay, cool. Right, so we want to uh, basically restock... With uh, turbines and all of that sort of stuff. And head back to the other planet again. So, what do I actually want to take with me? We could make, we could top off. I mean, we could take some of these because they're useful for certain types of crafting. Chemical labs and that sort of stuff we don't need. I mean, I say we could. I've already got 50 of them. That's sort of irrelevant. Oh, here we go. This is all the stuff I dropped off, isn't it? Okay. So I know where that is. Uh, what am I clicking on there? We could, I mean, we could drop off a stack of landfill. That might be useful over there. If I take them so that we leave... There's not that much carbon on there, you see. So we don't really need to bother. We do that deliberately, basically. Push you to other types of production. I'm just thinking, what, you know, what can I leave up there? Or leave behind... That would be useful. Oh, I've only, I've only, ma only making hundred. Okay, let's take that up to two, four stacks then. Okay. Did I even drop some of them off? Don't think I did. Okay. I don't really need the raw stuff. But am I making anything at the glass that might be useful? Where's the glass area there, isn't it? Prisms. I could take, put, leave some stone brick up there. Yeah, let's do that. Let's take some stone brick. I'll probably end up with a solar field as well, so let's do two stacks of stone brick. I didn't leave them behind, did I? I brought them back with me, or... Maybe I left some of them. So take some solar as well. Dang, forgot I only, I only put that to two. Okay. Okay, 
So this is the most. This is stuff you know could take back and mostly leave there, but don't want to do all of it. Where did I put that chest again? It's not there, is it? Over this way, I think. I think. There it is. So I could leave the excess, you know, the other belts and that and that. You know. Don't really need two stacks of them. For this journey, we can leave them. So some of the, I say, that I think I've got like, you know, three quarters of the, or like 40 odd of them, basically. Then we'll leave behind. Didn't I already put them on? Oh, we'll see. Yeah, the idea will be to stick on the wind turbines. Finish that off, basically, if we can. If I've got enough. Um, okay. Oops. Mecca's... Yeah, Mecca's fine. Right, where are we going? Where are we going? Is it number four we're going to? Or is it two? Which one am I going to? Should have left this pin, shouldn't I, really? Indicator, there we go. Oh, so I'm already at like half power. Uh, more, less than half power, so this journey might take a little while. It's a little bit tedious this stage. I'm sure there's probably more efficient ways of doing it. I'm not sure what those are because uh, it does involve multiple trips back and forth because you have to do quite a lot of or relatively speaking quite a lot of yellow science to do it and we'll also need to produce um, some higher level like titanium based materials in order to have the planetary and interplanetary logistics and particularly the drones so um, I say you kind of need the uh, a whole load of it in order to research the text that allow you to automate it. Well, I suppose another alternative would be to make more stuff on this planet. Um, you know, make the actual first interplanetary ones and drones and stuff over here. That might work a bit better. I keep adjusting it because the um, so you'll see it flaring and it's basically I'm using the WAS keys to adjust the direction, but it's because the planet's moving. So you know it has orbital mechanics basically. So um, that upload is really causing some problems. My bit rate's all over the shop. It's like down to two and then up to seven. So apologies. If this looks shonky on occasions, but I've got to put that file up. I've also got to do more of the editing because, because of course it failed again yesterday, or well, the stream died again yesterday. I was looking at trying to see. I got a really weird situation with the ISP in my account, but trying to look and see, bosh. If there was some advice or whatever. And one of the things it did highlight is look for interference. I couldn't see why that would cause the... Because it's a landline connection, you know. So I couldn't see why that would cause it to fall out. But coincidentally, my heating switch is on. And it's all like a remote, automated, you know, like... Signal thing. So... I, say, I can't see why that would... Oh, I'm at the wrong pole, aren't I? Okay. Why that would be any sort of an issue, but I could, or you know, could try not turning it off basically, or waiting for the 
art till after the stream to, turn, to have it turn on. It's just a very simple thing I could check, you know. But um, so I can't see why it would possibly impact a, a landline. Right, so yes, let us see about adding in. This is actually going to be right in the way, isn't it? Is it? Maybe not. Right, let's grab one of them. And it's. We'll just do it at this rather than find the pole. Because it's like that one, basically. So do, oh no, of course it cancels it if you have a one red one. So, so we'll just sort of finish this off since it's nice and quick and easy. With the. Uh, the new click and drag. I'm not going to bother tidying it up properly. I'll do that later. Get them done. We should have enough because we did more than half the planet. last time and we had less less sales last time could check that I got the thing right because that's the equator not sure if I put an equa equatorial band on as well Gonna hit a warp patch actually, so yeah, okay. So if we go that way, that take us round, no. but we'll come at it from this angle. Uh, where's the first one? It's that one plus one, okay. And then down here, so that one plus one, there we go. Nearly there. So there's one strip, I think, that's left, isn't there? Somewhere. There we go. So there's that bit there, basically. And where are we? Oh, lost my orientation then. So. Oh, up here. Okay. So we'll just chuck this little bit in. And there we are. Let's just make sure it is definitely... Let's turn the power grid on so we can see properly. Yeah, so that's our planet segmented. So we want to head up to the... Whoops, head up to the North Pole. Which is this one. Drop these bits off and see how much titanium we can take back with us. Drop these in here. Can I stand in the charge range and do it? Yeah. Uh, yeah, so we'll turn that into a foot. We we, the, there's no way we're going to be able to support. Oh, and I did leave two stacks of them. Okay. 
because uh, there won't be enough. No, I didn't leave them. Okay, I did leave them. Chuck them in. That's always a useful one to have. And the stone, and maybe them as well. Okay, so let's have a look at our energy situation. No problems. Snip now. Get back over to the uh, titanium, which is at the other pole, this direction, I think. There we go. Cool. So you see, you know, we've not been gone long, but we've already got two entire, you know, got more than we can hold, basically. You know, so, you know, it's not a slow mining process. So, whoops. Where is our planet that we're going? So we're going to that one, aren't we? And back we go again with a super duper load of titanium. I say uh, it's probably better to set up more of a production facility on that that planet rather than dump a load of stuff in a chest, but whatever. Did I even look, ever look at the old planetary clusters on where we are? Oh, it's slap bang in the middle, okay. It's not that far for our two favourites. Hmm. My first map, I was quite at the edge. I was like one of the sort of, you know, sparey bits off, and so it was a bit of a slog to get anywhere really and the black hole and neutron star were like completely on the other side of my you know my galactic cluster um and it, you know it took i actually got a bit paranoid with it where i was like um you know because obviously i didn't even you know you can't attempt it really until you got warpers but i had no clue how the warpers worked and how far they took you or how quickly it burned through them and so I had like a, basically an inventory full of warpers and getting all the way across. What was more of a problem was it also burns your battery and that was more of a problem than the actual warpers. I only used like five warpers or something. Um, but what I did use was, um, you know, my entire inventory several times, uh, my entire battery several times over. Have you inserted me properly this time? No, what oh, ish? There we go. <laughs> yeah, several several loads of you know several battery charges, and um, and so I you know you keep drop you drop out of warp when you run out of battery power, and there's no way of you know you've not got any convenient. I mean, you get a buff that lets you charge up quicker. In fact, let's go and find. Coal and etc., which is where? Uh, not that way. That way, okay. Yeah, you drop out of warp, so you just basically sat there waiting for your battery to charge back up. Um, oh, I meant to do that. Top that up. Cool. And then let's stand here. Okay, 
So the plan then is to set up the yellow science um, crudely. I won't be going nuts with, um, you know, uh, sorting out the oil and, you know, the hydrogen and all that stuff. We've, oh, we've done research. We've done all our researches, actually. So we will do that first. Am I going the right way? Yeah. But yeah, we'll get try and get yellow science up and running today. Maybe should be basically able to set it up. But in terms of whether it's running at full tilt or anything, I don't know. We certainly won't get you know up to planetary logistics or anything. Um, right, so I can chuck these in here just quickly. So, so we've got chest and a half, which should get us probably all the stuff we need, basically. Uh, but we can nip back. Grab our chest, chest of rubbish. What does that actually get me? See, so yeah, I do need to top up again anyway, because I left lots of stuff on the other planet. Okay, so where are we going? We want to go this way. Now we want. Uh, Shall I? Well, let's just grab some of them. Let's just top everything off, basically. I've put all of those on the other planet, so we'll grab some of them. Chemical labs we will almost certainly need. Uh, no, let's just let's just have the one snake. Uh, yeah, we'll almost certainly need them, but I probably won't be able to support them. Basically, that'll be the issue. Right, and then we've got. Landfill. Oh, I don't need three stacks of landfill. Crikey. Uh, them. I mean, I don't. I'll just keep them, but don't need them full stop, really. Um, Going to need plenty of smelters as well. Get some of you. Two stacks of them. All of them. Actually, not all of them. Because I had to already, didn't I? I do need room for other things. Miners will need if we're going to... I don't need two stacks of miners, though, do I? Have I got two? Yeah. What else? I might as well top that off and do my usual trick of using them as power poles. They seem to be weirdly slow. Oh, uh, right. And let's get the basics. Oh, that's power, actually. So, gone the wrong way. Never mind. Don't really need any more. So, this is the basic basics. Uh, don't need copper. Probably got too much copper still. I am. Um, yeah, might as well round it off. Whatever these are called. Whatever these are called. Steel. Got way too much steel. I don't need all that steel. Cogs. Yeah, got a stack of cogs. That'll do. Don't need solar panels. And stone bricks rounded off glass prisms. Oh, it's meant to be silicon in there, isn't it? But that's fine. Cool, okay. So we've got a lovely oh I have missed one somewhere. Lovely tidy inventory. Yeah. Lovely tidy full inventory. Ready to go. 
Well, now we just need to find where the heck it is we're going to be building things. Over this way. Uh, and I can ruin, oops, ruin all that tidiness by building seven of these. One, two, three. One, two, three. Four. Okay. So obviously this has already got a connector there. But we can basically have that do that. You see. You see. Um, why am I not using... Using them for a bit of bonus power. That seems silly. Which he knows. Is there anything unpowered there now? No? Cool. So, yeah, so we got them. So, what I can do, I can bolster up. Where was it? It was over here, wasn't it? Here we go. Bolster up the coal production. Or graph. It's not graphite, is it? Whatever it calls it. With this patch here. You know, just smelt these into. Collide with other object. What other object? Maybe actually I'd be better doing it that way anyway. Pop that on there. Like that. Uh, there we go. Four's too many, though, isn't it? Uh, let's go with. Oh, I. Oh. Yeah, I also need to make some more of these, don't I? I'm not making any of them. Make a couple of stacks of them. And if we. Uh, where would be best to... Where's north? North is that way. Okay, so we're probably best... Hmm. If we sort of make it... So we have the coal go this way, and then bring it this way and hook it into this. Yeah, let's do that. So we want... Uh, probably... Might be easier. Yeah, let's put um splitter there and feed these collide with building. What? What? What are you on about? What are you on about game? Cool. So I have one coming out there. Talking about Willis. Uh, up here, around here. We go through there? Okay. We will if I'm canny about it. No. Uh, it used to be there, doesn't it? Okay. And then second one up there. Awesome sauce. So, if this ends up being, again, I always like to leave a little, little gap at the front just to give me room to play with. So this is the first, oops, first power palm, like that, and then, so that, oh, no. Right, so if you're producing whatever this is called, carb carbonians, car carbonins, what are they called them? Energetic graphite, that's what they're called. So it's two coal produce one graphite -y things. So I've got two lanes coming in, so we can combine both outputs. 
from both sides to make one oops what happened there to make one lane going the other way right so that would be there I guess this would be here oops that one like that so then if we do the old jump across trick like that like that connect that oops what happened there connect that there right and then this should simply be a case of side loading that on there brilliant Uh, right, so if I put, it's six per side, isn't it? Yeah. So this would be graphite coming in here, graphite going out there, in, out, shake it all about. Put the be oh, belt in. I always forget when, because sometimes like that, it continues it. But other times it stops, and it's to do with if it's a complete belt section. But I always forget the rules, and I click the wrong thing. Right, so we want to shift copy this. So that's six, but we want a bit of a gap for the power pole. Why didn't that work? Don't know. And get for the power pole. Superb. Yeah, huge fan of the shift clicking. Uh, right, let's see if we can't get a few bonus. Uh, one there. Maybe it's a bonus turbine to act as power poles. You're going to cover it? Brilliant. Da -da -da, da -da -da. All right, so they're not actually producing enough. Oh, no, there we go. Is it a four lane here as well? Yeah, perfect. So you're running fine, excellent. So we now have a full belt of carbon coming our way. We can add on organic crystals, which we've already been producing because I'm smart like that. That's debatable, but. Uh, where do I actually want to take them? So, I could just literally... Is that a bit risky, putting it right next to each other? It'll be fine, it'll be fine. There you go, you see, so the hydrogen is really back. In fact, I could stack a few more on, because I'm not going to kind of sort that out until later. So we'll chuck a couple extra on there. Um, but I need to, because I have an... Oh, actually, I didn't do the text, did I? Can we do any buffs? I would quite like to be faster. Now that's purple. I'm more powerful. Now that's yellow. There we go. Lovely. That's yellow. That I need something like... Yeah, I need the Mecha Core first anyway. I guess we could queue some of them up. I say it's starting to feel like blueprints are probably oh drone speed. Okay, that's nice. But they're probably more later, really, than where I am. It's easy to use the shift click at the moment. It's yellow, yellow, and purple. Okay, so we can be a bit quicker. And will it let me? No. Because I need, I need the mechor, but I couldn't do it anyway. Because I need the yellow, which I'm making. Okay, so not much of a bonus. In fact, why don't I stack just that on, just for sake of it? Now, tech-wise, we're trying to get to this one, but we need yellow science, which is what we're making. We would need to do that one, which is also yellow science. So we could do that one, but that requires thruster. Now, where is Thruster? I can never remember. There we go. There's Thruster. And we can do that one. We can do Reinforced Thruster as well. That's interesting. That, 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 should, that should do that with red. 
given that the actual thing itself requires titanium, which or the reinforced titanium, which requires yellow. So it's a bit weird you can research that without having done what you might call a prerequisite research, but there you go. I think we need these as well, don't we? For part of for making where are they? Making thrusters or something. Is that right? Or is it these ones that require I'm sure you need Oh no, they're just made from that. Oh no, there you go. So we do need we need whatever it calls them. Super duper turbines, is it? Electromagnetic magnetic turbines. But yeah, we can do that as well. There's a bit of a factorio like situation here, isn't there, where you unlock the first two techs and it I mean that's I'm gonna have more than half the tech tree with only two science cubes. Interesting that they've sort of copied that as well. Right, should I queue some of these up? I generally, when I do these types of games, I don't like to get sort of too far ahead of myself. So, you know, I'm not not going to be making any of these for some quite some time. So I don't like to have too many texts researched that require the you to make something until I've made that. So, for example, these, you know, we need to set up a whole production chain for them. And we do need them. So, you know, I'll research them, but I don't want to do really something like that, which, you know, uses them until I've got these being produced, really. Um, I say, I find if I research too much stuff and unlock too many production things, I get a bit lost. Particularly at this stage where we've not got, you know, the whole production system will change radically when we get them. You know, so I could do these ones, but you know, it's gonna be ages before we do solar cell solar cells. Yeah, let's leave that at that. And then what was I gonna do? Oh yes, bring the organic crystals over, that's right. So this isn't no, that's on the ground. So if we go to this because we obviously got, I don't know if I, did I limit that chest? I did. Okay. Sort of doesn't matter because this is a tiny production of them, really. We need, we're going to need a load more, but, you know. It just gets us going, basically. So we, we kind of need to, I'm trying to do a rush to planetary into planetary logistics because having played through before and found that that kind of radically changes the game. I'm quite keen to get there. So if I just take that up there, might cause me problems later, but let's just do that. And then we have to wait for the, the boats to do their boaty thing. Right, yes, okay. Um, extend it out a bit more here. Because these are both going over to red science production. Can you reach that? It gets a lot, lot quicker. This when you've got you know big net, big charge and uh, big battery thing, and these guys can. I don't think they're an infinite tech for the speed, but I don't think so. I can't remember. But um, yeah, they really. You get low. You can add 
like 20 of them, I think, in total or something. So, you know, they're really quick and you've got loads of them and there's no issues with you charging them. So it all gets really, really super fast once you're uh, in the end game phase. Ah, slight, slight boost to the mech speed. Awesome. I didn't. I was wondering why there was nothing on it, and I didn't. There's nothing on it because I've got to put the the old inserters on. Let's get some of them then. See, I forgot to put the this on here. Um, let's just do one in, one out. In fact, have I already done stack size? I've already done one, I think, haven't I? Upgrades. No, I haven't. Oh, it's a yellow science anyway. All oh, right. Interesting that it gates that off be behind. Behind that. Right, so we got the organic crystals coming in at a trickle, but coming in anyway. And we want to extend this a bit further. How much belt? Have I? I got loads of belt. Loads of belt. Belt for miles. So it's particularly interesting, you see, and why I was wondering. So, you know, the Factorio streams this weekend, you know, got to 5.15ish again and they died. But what's particularly interesting about that, you see, and why I thought it was possibly Twitch or something that was having the problem, is that we've streamed through that whole window today and no problems. So why would it be a... Saturday and Sunday only thing, you see. That's the bit I don't get. Right, so. That's a bit distracting, that arrow, isn't it? Let's turn that off. Where is the planet? No. What are you doing? There you go. Let's get rid of that. Indicator. Cool. Right, so it's... which way round is it? So we need to make these and these, and those are just carbon. Yeah, and these are the carbon and titanium. Okay, so we've obviously got those two here. So we can just keep that bit going up there. Now I'm going to... I've actually therefore put this in slightly the wrong place, but... That's not a problem. Because it would have been nice to just have that coming out the side. But we'll do this instead. So this will be the titanium. Uh, let's put one of them on. Let's do one there. Do something like that. Okay. And then it's assembly machines, I believe. A little bit of a gap, as per normal. So maybe, I don't know, three machines worth. And then a power pole. Right. And then... I got this. I always get this confused. Which one's in the... Yeah, this is in the... Okay. So it takes... Hang on. These take eight seconds each, don't they? And require one and one. So they're very slow. But I've got eight of them, so in theory we need to make one of each per second. Right. So, they take... So I'm just thinking, we might actually need two lanes of titanium. They need four seconds each, you see. So to make one a second, we're going to have to supply 12 titanium. But a yellow belt can only supply six, so yeah. So in fact, actually, this is in the perfect position. Oops. 
Why is that not deleting? There we go. Because what we can do then is have that second row there. Perfect. No? Why are you not... What? Perfect. So this, this actually needs to move out one. Like that, doesn't it? Trying to be efficient with uh, shortcutting, but I keep using other game shortcuts. Right, and then this will come this way to feed into our labs. Awesome. So you want to be titanium crystals. Now we're going to need probably, hmm, we probably need them. I couldn't even make them because I haven't even done the research to make the turbine things. Again, I, I wonder how they work out things like that because it's like I've done a research where I can't possibly make the thing, you know, that I'm supposed to feed in. I'm not sure that will quite cut it, but it's probably the best we can do for now. Oh well. Right, and then we do want the power thing. And then we want four of these in total. Will you cover all our power if you're there? Drone engine level two. Beauty. Right, we could probably chuck something here. No. Power the turbine. Oh, power those inserters. Connect this up. Yeah, we have our first titanium crystal. Awesome. Like so. Oh, it's not on. Right, so what we can then have is we can connect this up here, like so. Now, yeah, let's spaghetti this round, basically, and do it like that. Right, so what we want to do, we want to have the... Wait. Oh, is it not smartest to make... Oh, no, there we go. Looking at the wrong thing. Now, we want to make one of these a second as well, don't we? But they only take two seconds to make. Have I got my maths off there? Because each one of these takes eight seconds to make. So if you have eight machines, then you need one a second. And these take four seconds to make. Obviously, I'm ignoring the replicator speed being a bit rubbish. But yeah, so we need four of them. So we only need two diamond machines, don't we? Or diamond makers, rather. Oh, I should have. Oh, it doesn't matter. Yeah, so we'll take the. I'm gonna need another power pole. Yeah, so we'll just take the sort of overspill from this because this is now running full chat because we've bolstered up the production there. And say so this, this is you know, very much production to get us into planetary logistics. It's not about setting up an efficient lab system. As such, just one that gets the job done, which is kind of why, no, wrong way around. If 
found my general philosophy on all of these types of games. Awesome. Right. 150 civilities in the blueprint. Brilliant. I'm sure that's great. One point five trips per second per grid. So if I actually if I just use a high level one, can we get a turbine in there? We can. Little beauty. Is that cap? That's capped. Oh A milestone, structure matrix. You produce your first structure matrix in on what? Well, Eleven fifty three forty six. It's the one of it's one of the five source codes that maintain the operation of the center brain, and is the greatest breakthrough in the history of material science. The advancement of structural technology is the driving force for the continued development of industry. Marvelous. So yeah, I mean, because of these being slower, well, uh, you know, these are these don't run at. Show me that there. There are three quarts of the speed, so really I do need more of them. Um, do those run at one? Yeah, those run at one. So to compensate for that, how many would I need? I would need two more because it's three quarts. No, I need one more, don't I? If I just four, I need to divide multiply by four. So four, four by four is sixteen. Divide by three is one point one and a third so actually I do probably do need two more oh. and to do that I need more belt I haven't really done this on the others but yeah, whatever so I have two more of them in So we can at least run each of those at speed. Cool. So we can now... What's the time? 6.30. Perfect. So we can now... Oh, I could have researched this one anyway. Huh. Oh, no, no. It's because I've got thrust, thruster in the research crew. Or I'm doing thruster. Let me do that. And then that one. And then, oh, reinforced thruster. Okay. So I need to research that one. And then that one. And that kind of gets us to where we need to be, really, in terms of getting some more things up and running. We do need to do, you know, more, there are more techs required in order to support that properly. But we'll cross that hurdle when we um, when we need to bridge it. Right. So we could do we could finish off with a, a little bit of um, delivery, bring some of this back over. We'll probably end up doing a, a jerry rigged you know, quick and dirty thruster and blah 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 production here. Um, the other thing we could do is start is is do that advanced oil processing. I wonder why those are still not. I guess it's a stack up thing. Are you getting more in? Yeah, and slowly building them up. Sort of fills up like a, a jug sort of thing. You know, so these are stack up with the full 20, you know, excess. And then as it slowly builds, so as once it fills, it fills, it fills, you know. It's 
So there's an argument for doing them in a row, basically, to sort of compensate for that. But it can make a lot of difference, really, because... Excuse me for yawning, I'm not sure why I'm yawning like that. I could actually probably, couldn't I support... The bit I don't understand about the science is this hash per second. Because it never seems to tell you. you. I think you can work it out from the production stats. Can't you? So it's going to write a 40 per minute. Is that 180? What does that mean? Is that the time scale? No, because it's time scale is ten minutes. Because I don't, I don't understand what a hash is in terms of a cube. Is each cube one hash? That would make sense, wouldn't it? Each cube is not one hash. Is six is sixty hashes per cube? And then that 180 would be because I'm I've got three labs, so that's 180 per minute. But anyway, I can certainly add more labs on. And sp oh, speed everything up. Maybe two more. See how it does with that. Because I can stack a few more. Because this will then be 60, 120, 180, 240, 300 hash per minute. So if I chunk that down to one minute. Six hundred hash a minute rather. I haven't got ten labs though. But anyway, that, that's continuing at, you know, it'll probably get up to 80, will it? I don't know. But it's faster than we're making them, so that's fine. Yeah. Right. Okay. Okay. Uh, what do I want to do then? So, so we could do a quick run back, because we've already chewed through sort of half a crate because say that because that ratio the four you know four per yellow cube you can kind of math it out actually in that all of these stacked up are going to be more you know more than I brought over so we really do need to go back I'm trying to trying to work out where my chest is it's over there isn't it okay so I say we'll dump a load of stuff off oh I've nearly run out of juice Yeah, we'll dump a load of stuff in here. Uh, I'll go and grab some more power. Probably won't need all of that, but... And I might as well charge myself up, since we've got the power poles here. So we're only at about a third of, or a quarter even, of our maximum power production. Where's our planet that we want to go to? It's over here. Indicator. Are we charged? Yes, we're charged. Okay. So we'll just blast over, do a round trip with a bit of titanium. 
Oh, nearly zapped all my juice out then. You don't want to zap your juice out. That I can definitely assure you. Once those are done, I could actually stack up the yellow upgrades, couldn't I? That would be most useful. Because we... Oh, that's purple, isn't it? But we want another mecha core, definitely. And another frame speed. Oh, Q4. Okay. We want to bump them as well, basically. Oh. There you go, so I've over, overdone the juice, basically, so if we miss, or bounce off or something, probably won't have the power to turn us around straight away. Right, let's go and find one of the poles, that one's going to be easiest, so we can take advantage of that power, if we can get there. Okay, so so what we want to do is there you go, you see, stacked up, you know, four four chests worth basically. We can't carry that much, I say, and I don't I don't like using that it's not really a cheat, but that, you know, little sort of work around. I might chuck this... No. Let's just make sure we've got a bit of headroom. I was going to say, I could, I could chuck this into the chest rather than sort of burn it. But... Or rather than carry it with us, but it's not going to make a lot of difference, really. Right. Oops. So, uh, let's grab what we can. There we go. Just in a little bit's worth. Uh, so, you, you have to, you know, do a few trips, basically. Basically. I'll blast over again. It is very pretty, this game. Very, very pretty. Saying on a Reddit thing that I was posting on today that I think having the Dyson, you know, the actual Dyson Sphere building as a reason for playing the game is, is sort of better than something like Factorio because Factorio, the whole launcher rocket it's like, I've said this loads of times before, it's kind of pointless, because you, it doesn't, it ends, you know, you get the windscreen. Ah, oh, thruster. You get the windscreen, but it didn't get you off the planet, and it doesn't reveal the map or something for you. Are you going to go away? Well, we don't want to, we don't want to accidentally go into orbit around the gas giant. Yeah, it didn't, you know, it didn't really achieve anything for you other than giving you space science, which enables you to do the various infinite techs, which are useful, but only really in the sense of continuing the game for you. They don't really give you anything new as such. So there you go, we've got about two chests worth of of juice. We might as well... Oh, I can't because I haven't got anything in the inventory. We might, so I was going to say we might as well chuck some recharge things down here as well, but I can't make any of them because I've got nothing... Where am I going? But 
to run out of juice. Where's, oh, there we go. Looking for my chest, I couldn't see it. Grab all of that. Where's, uh... Let's just chuck one down. Right. Cool. That gets charged up. Uh, we'll just nip over and put similar next to the titanium. I say because I am going to have to do a couple more trips. I'm I'm pretty sure. Okay, so we'll chuck one in around the back here. Might as well do a. Oh, I can't. Okay. You can overlap them quite heavily. It's like I think maximum is like twelve or something or eleven. Right. Okay. What do we want to do next then? Because I that I achieved that <laughs> quicker than I thought I was going to. Um. What next? I guess we could do like the whole because we have now eaten through the hydrogen quite quickly so we could do that it's because we're then it's because we're burning the science a lot quicker basically yeah let's go and see if we can do that The tweaked hydrogen. Have I? I think I've got some. Uh, I'm going to turn that off again. Yes, so I was sort of explaining this on a previous stream. Basically, you have what you do is you have this one, because this is just plain oil refinery, right? Um, and that com that converts like the what does it call it like the the crude oil into like processed oil and hydrogen, which is great. We don't really have anything a lot to do a lot of use for the this stuff. Um, so what we then want to do is use this one to essentially convert it back in convert more of the plain oil. Uh, you know, the processed oil into hydrogen and carbon because we want more of that, certainly at this stage anyway. Um, and this is kind of what I've set up. So what we've got here, what is that then? Is that carbon? Okay, so I could feed that in there actually. Oh, no, that's what I was doing here, wasn't it? Okay. Yes. Yeah, so, uh, well, there you go. So these are basically full. So we have, we do have, you know, we are using the oil to make the organic crystals, which is great. Um, but we're getting way more than we're actually produce, you know, using. Um, so we use this basically to convert more of it into, um, you know, carbon and hydrogen, which is what we want more of. But we will probably need to leave a couple so that there is some stuff coming through still. Um, so we don't want to convert all of it to carbon and hydrogen because then we can't do organic crystals. Right, so what you can do with this though, and the clever bit, in my opinion, is that this requires the refined oil and hydrogen. And we've got the refined oil and hydrogen coming out of here, but the ratios are different. So this requires... Um, uh, right, this produces, so... Can I do it on here? There we go. Yeah, so this produces two um, refined oil and one hydrogen, right? 
But this requires two hydrogen and one refined oil, but produces three hydrogen and one carbon. And basically you can arrange these the inserters so that essentially what's coming out of this will be fed back, some of it will be fed back in. So that's what we're going to do. So basically this one will be the carbon. So it's on a separate line basically and I need to hook that up properly. Um, uh, but then basically we, we feed in the refined oil as the, excuse me, as the first thing. We feed it out, we feed out hydrogen as the, not the first thing, that's the last thing, as the first thing, and then we feed it back in there. So initially it won't, it won't, you know, have high, extra, it will have to stack up enough hydrogens to make stuff. But when it is making stuff, it will come out here and it will feed it back in. So there's a little loop going on, basically. Um, of course, I mean, I should use higher level inserters because these are a bit slow and it will miss some of the hydrogen, but, but then we want up more hydrogen. Uh, we also do still want some, you know, processed oil going through. We don't want to convert it all, um, as I say. And we can leave a couple of these off so that we get some more coming through, but but yeah, that's the basic principle we're going for. Now what we need to do here is hook up a carbon to the well, either that one or we need a you know an elevated one or something like that. Now how do we want to do that? It'd probably be easiest. Yeah, probably be easiest to run this underneath. Then elevate it. Endpoint must what? And then go this way with it. And connect it on here. So, oops, didn't mean to do that. So we'll connect that there. So if we pull some of this up. And then connect this on here. Might need to pull a bit more than that up. What are you doing? So if you go to there, please. And then, oops, connect. No? Okay, go across there. Then connect. Right. You're being painful, game. You're being painful. Yes, and now we've got shift. Now, that was, in, oh well, I mean, that was simple, but in, in the old days, pre shift, you know, shift jobby, that was super painful setting all that. That was the type of thing that was super painful because, um, you know, you couldn't. You had to insert, do all the inserters and set all the recipes and stuff by hand. You didn't actually have any choice. No, you're not. You're not going to be playing ball. Okay. Apple level coal. Cool. 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 But now we can just shift copy this and drag it all over and it's got all the things set and blah blah blah. I did set that to hydrogen, didn't I? Yes I did. Okay. Okay. So we just grab that. Oh. Okay. Let's leave two off, so to give ourselves a bit more of the oil. We can also stick one of these on here because it's you know it's backed up quite heavily. This game, this game has got so much quicker with this other you know with the copying thing because that would have taken me all the rest of the stream last time. Well, you know, before, as it were. Right, so, yes, there's more going in there than is being used. Can we add more of these on? We can, if we do some landfilling.
Let's take it all the way up to... It's really the soil that I'll run out of, rather than the actual foundations. But we'll see how, how close we can get. Yeah, it looks like I'll have plenty. Once you get on to other planets, it becomes really quite plentiful soil. Because some of them are quite lumpy. Right, let's do that. Needs to be a bit further over so I can stick some some of these in. Oh, it's so much easier. <laughs> right. I should work out the ratios really. Because we do want more carbon. Now, which way are you going? You're going the other way. So you're going that way. You're fine. You must be coming this way. Whoops. Collide with other object. What other object? And that's going the opposite way. And then, ah. Oh. Now this is... What have we done there? Planetary logistics system, brilliant. I don't think we can make any as yet. Right, so plastic. What do I actually want to produce here? Do I want excess plastic? I probably do, because I seem to remember they're used in the um, super duper titanium. We've not really got enough coal to support this anyway. How backed up are you? Because we can extend this more. We've got kind of backing up of oil. But we could also do more here. In fact, I can literally just chuck three more of them in. No questions asked. That gets us a bit more without having to mess about with rearranging belts and stuff. Because, uh, you know, I should really mine more of this, really. You know, and do more, more carbon. But I say that would mean pulling some more of it up. I think. Mm. So if I had that there, say that there. Then that one would cover it. Okay. Yeah, let's do that then. Take it over there. Out the way. We'll let this belt drain out. I just get. Can't I just get rid of that somewhere? Isn't there? No. Isn't there a bin I can put that in? Because I can't... Well, maybe you can now. You didn't used to be able to put it in directly. Yeah. I, no, I can't... I, I'm pretty sure they did introduce some kind of trash system, but I can't remember how it works. Is it? Hmm... Oh, it doesn't matter. Right, so we'll get another one of these in. Oh. Okay. Are you going to let me belt round? No, it's too close, isn't it? <laughs> Trying to be all clever and making a mess of it. Typical. 
typical. So I'll just let that run through. I don't want too much in my inventory. Do, do, do. There we go. Get rid of that. And then... We could join them up over here somewhere. So if we go sort of round the back. Uh, let's just ele elevate it. Because there's a bit of room there. Is that going to be high enough? What are you doing? Right, go straight out of there. And then it's too high enough. No, three then. Yeah. Okay. Right, so we'll take this over here. Now, where do I need you to go to drop down? So you're going to need to go a bit further over, aren't you? Stop. Stop. Mm. There you go. No. What are you doing? Right. There we go. <laughs> that was painful. Right. So we then want this one here. And that does need to go up as well. Oh, that's already here. No. No, it isn't. I thought that was already elevated, that one. But it is not. So that will be the other one. And then we want this one. Again, we'll have to elevate this. There we go. Oh, through the power pole. Brilliant. Um, it's weird that it lets you do that sometimes. It won't won't let you turn the corner straight away. You know, when you drag it out of the machine. But you can delete that one segment and then it will let you do it, basically. Right, so, what I'm trying to achieve here is stick all of these in a... Do I want to use this one? It might be easier to use one of the others. Let's have a look. What options have we got? Uh, that might be a good one to use. Because I can feed that in there. Did I bring that down? No, I didn't. So that's perfect. So we can go that one. What are you doing, game? And then this one. And there. And then just take that. Uh, actually, I might as well. Yeah, let's put it down the middle as well. Okay. Brilliant. Right, so we want one of them. Wait, is that correct? Yeah, that's correct. So, drink that, tap that. Oh. If I expand the interval, which is what, the plus key? Oh no, that's not doing what I want. Hmm. Um, no, let's do a. I always forget the. It's that, isn't it? There we go. Right, so we put that there. And then if we do that. And. Oh, that's the same as what I just had. Oh, it's because I'm going across a... Yeah, okay. So differently orientated, basically. So if we just do sort of what we can, really. Is that six? Yeah, cool. Brilliant. Right then. So that takes us up to seven o'clock, which is when I usually end these streams. Are you all running? Yeah, cool. 
Um, so I usually stream this 5 till 7 UK time. Um, on a Monday. So it's backing up now. That's what I like to see. Oh, well, it seems to be parity matched, as it were. High strength titanium. We've done a lot more. This The whole shift, click, drag thing really sold on that. That's great. Is it slowly ticking down? I want it to slowly tick down, basically. Looks like it is. Cool. Uh, yeah. Uh, so I'll be back on Friday. Uh, stream is satisfactory. That'll be the last stream before update... 20, up to 25. Update 5, which I believe launches on the um, 26th of October. They haven't announced any kind of delay, so it seems like it's probably on track. Um, so that should be something to worth looking forward to. I can add, I can add more of these, and I say I didn't really look at the ratios and what what I wanted to do. So it's 20 a minute. And it's 10 a minute, but it uses 2. So really I would need a ratio of 2 to 1. Unless, does this produce 2? No, 1 takes 3 seconds. 1 takes 6 seconds and requires 2. So actually it's 1 to 1, isn't it? Because it requires 2 even though it takes half the time. Yeah. So it is actually one-to-one. -one. Okay. So I could just chuck some more in, basically. We'll put in... So... Hang on. Plastic takes three seconds to produce one. So we would need, like... You know, if that holds six per second... We'd need three times six. We'd need like 18 factories, which is just nowhere near what we're going to be able to do. So two, four, six. Can I maybe double that? Two, four, five. No, I can't double it. Can maybe add another three on? It's so convenient. A <laughs> quick drag. Wow. Brilliant. So we've instantly sort of half again plastic and organic crystals. Crikey. Right, yes, so I say, uh, if you have been watching, thanks for doing so. And uh, I will be back on Friday for some Satisfactory, back next weekend for some Factorio, why I'm so close to finishing my Mega Base, it's almost painful. Uh, and then back on this on Monday, where we will, what will we do? We will continue the thrust towards inter interplanetary logistics um, and get that all up and running. And then I'll probably start like trying to work out blueprints which is kind of the sort of aim of this series is for me to learn the whole blueprinting because um, it doesn't seem particularly worthwhile until we get to that stage I think but we'll have to see anyway yes say so thank you for joining me if you've been watching and uh, I will catch you again on another one hopefully cheers <laughs>